Alright, what's up guys, it's Chris. Um, today I got the first episode of uh, Racing Tips with Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, for the first episode, I'm going to talk about how to improve your racing line and how to improve your overall racing skills because that's just the main thing you want to work on, you know. So, um, basically, the most important thing for learning how to get better at racing is race with as many people as you can and try to learn something from other people. Because if you combine all the stuff that you know with other people's things, it'll become a lot easier to understand diff like more advanced techniques and stuff like that. And I'm just on Quicksilver Grand Prix here, gonna run a few laps. Uh, I, I actually just built this car a few minutes ago. So um, I'm just gonna be racing this Karuma. And as you can tell by my line, you know, I take simple lines and I use the ditches right there next to the curb or whatever they're called, I don't know, what drainage, something, whatever they're called. Um, I use them to my advantage and they kind of guide you. Like a lot of times in street circuits, they'll have them. So use them to your advantage. Use them as guidelines to where to go. Because a lot of times the apexes are basically just hidden in those. Um, that's really it. But um, more or less, say if you're, you know, you just started out competitive racing, whatnot, you know you want to get better at it just try to race with people and keep going around a lot of different tracks and kind of just learning more just trying to learn more as, as much stuff as you can don't do that that's like another tip <laughs> um, you really just want to have fun with it and then once you start learning the good lines and you learn a lot of stuff that you think is going to help you and it actually does help you go with more advanced people and start racing and then just as you get there just keep going and going I mean there's really no limit to it it's up to you how far you want to go honestly and I, I, I fucking hate this room already <laughs> just just have fun with it I mean uh, yeah you can get serious I mean but that's it's just it takes the point out of it at the same time it doesn't I mean racing is really it's Regardless of what you think, it's it's gonna be competitive. That's really one of the points of racing is just to be competitive and want to win. I mean, you you know you don't you don't you don't go to join a playlist or you know a lot of people from F1 in real life you know whatever NASCAR whatever the hell you want to say, they don't just they don't call they don't want to just go they don't want to be in like fucking twelfth place or some shit. No, you want to be in the first. It's just competitive, you know. All right, let's get down to the basics. All right. Now, how do you improve your racing line is you mostly want to be very adaptive. So when you get into a brand new circuit, right, you want to see kind of scout the course for a few laps, find out where you can go wide, where you can go slim, like this. Take it as wide as you can, cut in. Pretty simple. On a hairpin, you just want to cut in as close as you can. And basically, you're going to do that a lot of times. You're going to grind in the middle of it, but it really doesn't matter. You really just kind of want to get as close as you can without touching the mirror because I don't know why but a lot of times the mirrors like fuck you up and it's really annoying so you want you want to just get as close as you can to stuff mostly that's kind of the point and then you'll get better and better but you know you got to work on a few laps and then you know you'll continue but it's mostly down to your personal preference on how you want to take lines um, a lot of people will be more comfortable with taking wider lines a lot of people will take more comfortable with inside lines but that all depends on the corner also. Um, hairpins, you mo a lot of people want to take inside lines. Some people want to take outside. And it's up to you. You know, it's endless what you can do. But, like I said, use the ditches to your advantage. And really try to focus on using those to your advantage. Really try to focus on using them to your advantage. Because they'll help you so much. Trust me, I've... I've been used competitive racing for a little, little over the year now, maybe. Um, definitely use them. Trust me, just definitely do it. There's really not much else I could say besides use those things. They help a lot, and they're just make they just make your life so much easier. Um, another thing too, if you're really trying to get into competitive racing, put off road tires on. I, I people will judge you for it but in the end trust me don't like don't listen to them just fuck up put them on it'll help you so much it just takes the bumpiness away and crap like that you know so um another thing is curb boosting uh that's kind of what i just did um 
when you start when you want to start out racing it's a good idea to do it because you're gonna be you're not gonna have much control of the car and you kind of want to learn that you really want to learn good car control so you kind of have to take really wide lines so yes curb boost a lot if you're just starting and stuff like that but as you get better at it you don't really need to curb boost a lot unless you're just you don't really caring what you're doing and stuff like that um hot lapping is almost a must to curb boost i don't really know what else um also flick steering which i don't have oh my god <laughs> flick steering is basically with your left analog stick instead of holding it to turn you just kind of want to flick it and i'll put my pan next to my mic see if you can hear it what it sounds like it's kind of what if you can hear that it's kind of what it sounds like um so you just don't just flip like that and it allow you to have a lot more grip than you normally would and it'll, it'll make the turning the vehicle pretty easy so try to practice that as much as you can um and it helps a lot too when you're hot lapping but i mean overall you really just kind of want to experiment with yourself and kind of think about what is going to help you the most and do that i mean you can't really go up to somebody and ask them like hey how do i get better i mean it's not how it works even you really need to figure out what what you need to do personally and what you need to work on you know like for me um my my throttle control is really good but also i don't have the best consistency so i'm right now i'm basically working on my consistency to really get that up and, run and running because after about like 30 or 40 laps i'm like i'm done like <laughs> I can't do it anymore so I really have to get my consistency up and get my endurance up when I'm racing but also it'll be different people because maybe somebody else can have really good endurance and really good consistency but their lines and stuff like that aren't the best you know so you always have something something to improve on regardless of what you think you always have something to improve on um man but yeah like i said i have fun with it you know do what you feel is gonna really help you and really gonna make it fun for you to competitive race in the grand theft auto and then as you can as you get better and stuff like that you'll kind of want to go on to more racing games like project cars and aesthetic wars or whenever it comes out and stuff like that forza if you're on xbox you know so it's endless you know um another thing too is um Drag racing actually will help too. Drag racing will help. If you start um, drag racing, right? Start doing launches with just holding on, with just, like just holding onto the throttle. And you can learn from that because what it does is when you don't hold the throttle fully, you get a lot more grip. So that again for drag racing is actually really good too because it'll help you out and stuff like that. And you can learn from drag racing. So some stuff like a lot of, with a lot of racing types like. Formula One, NASCAR, um, what else is there? You have just the regular um, G GT cars, you know, stuff like that. They all have something that another that the other races motorsport doesn't have, um, or that you don't use, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. There's always something that you don't do in, in one sport that you do in another. You know, it's always worked like that. But then again, um, also to improve your racing. Um, you definitely want to choose the best car, but that also decides on what, and also you need to decide what class you want to use and stuff like that too. Um, I mainly started out with the LG. That was the main car that I started out competitive racing with. And if you, there's videos on my channel about competitive racing with the LG. Um, I used to do it a lot, but I stopped racing because I used to, um, I use a lot of other cars now. Um, if you're gonna go sports cars, my suggestion to you is you want to use the Masakuro, the Jester, or the LG. Those are the three greatest cars for sports racing. Um, Super, Turismo, you can learn a lot. Zentorno, you can learn a lot. And the T20, you can learn a lot. Osiris has a tremendous amount of understeer, so it's not very balanced and it's hard to learn with. But if you're more skilled and you're more advanced, you can definitely own that car. No you would use that car no problem um coops no idea because i swear to god i hate coops um muscle cars dominator probably the best one for the muscle car class is the dominator use that um 
you know most people use that I don't, I don't think a lot of people use that car um compacts use the fucking blister um what else we got I don't even know what else SUVs um I've heard the hunt was the best I haven't raced it though but that's what I've heard so on that, I'm just going by that don't trust me on that I've heard the hunt was good um what else we got that's it nobody really races bikes but the baddie I guess is probably the best balanced one um I think that's it all right so like I said guys we cap for a second um choose a good racing line choose a good car um make it fun for yourself race with other people get used to racing uh cut as close as you can to the edges right here the little ditches drainage whatever the hell they are I don't even know what they are but whatever those are try to cut close as you can get used to lines curb boost if you need to if you're beginning you know if you don't have very good car control do that um do some drag racing so you can try to get that straight line speed up you know always gotta have that straight line speed whatever, whatever type of racing you always gotta have that straight line speed okay That's what my crew does, drag race. Alright, that's it. Alright, so just, just, just put them out there. HKS for the win, baby. So, um, I think that's it for this episode. I'll catch you guys in number two. That was rhetorical, okay? If, if anybody's wondering, that was supposed to be like that. Rhetorical as hell, okay? Alright, I'll see you guys.